Barrett, who's here, made a great comment to me at a dinner recently that he was very proud of his humility. I, I really enjoyed that statement, Fred. So, 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 Ian, you must be very proud of your humility as well. Could you could you tell us what the uh, the role and the importance is of of humility in this picture? I know that's something you've got a, a passion about uh, and some thoughts um, about. Well, it's said. It's said. Uh, I've heard it said more than once. The greatest block to um, unity in any city is um, pride. The only antidote is humility. And the reason we don't uh, have more unity is because there's more pride than we realize in all of our hearts. Because, you know, pride is the, um, the first outcome of the fall in Genesis 3. Humility comes from the walk, embracing the cross, isn't it? The walk of the cross. And, uh, and the cross isn't, it's, it is a solo experience. We all experience the cross in our own lives. But uh, the greatest joy in unity is experiencing the cross corporately. It's when with our brothers and sisters in the same trenches fighting the same battle, bow down at the foot of the cross, uh, repent not only to God, but to each other of their sins. Um, Calvin, uh, you know, for all his so-called faults, uh, would start every prayer meeting with personal um, repentance to one another as eldership in Geneva. And, uh, uh, oh. and even on his deathbed, he called the elders around his deathbed. And the first thing they did was repent of their sins to one another. And there's something beautiful because it says, as you repent of your sins, confess your sins, you are healed. And that's a corporate thing, not just individual. So something wonderful. And Collins and Grace have been in some of the meetings in Toowoomba where there was a lot of wholesale repentance between you know, 30 or 40 pastors and leaders together. And uh, it brings the humility. That's embracing the cross together. It's not just that uh, the Western culture of individualism has to be broken. We're in Christ is an incorporated term. You can't be in Christ by yourself. We're in Christ together. By one spirit are we baptized into one body. You come to Jesus, you're born singly, but then you're baptized into the body immediately. Just like um, Ben's two kids, they might have been uh, born two individuals but they're straight away baptized into his family and yeah. uh they, so, they suddenly got mum and dad and I, I i don't know if there's siblings there or whoever else is in the family so yep um embrace the cross corporately uh that's the key to humility yeah yeah it's, it's natural human nature for us to all try and build something around ourselves, isn't it yeah and then we get old and we can't and we we maybe learn so yeah I, I,